Mark. That's a thoroughly deserved point here, and do you think perhaps in other circumstances it could have even been a win if 10 men had, you know, hadn't gone down to 10 Well, men? you never know. You never know that. I think we can only know what we see, and we've seen um, a battling performance in the end. Um, we started very convinced. We made a couple of chances. Should have, you know, taken them. Uh, could have taken them, and Scotty was, you know, angry with himself. They didn't score with his header. You know, Craig didn't quite get enough on his, but, you know, Scotty's is the best chance. Then, of course, to lose a man... Uh, you know, it made it difficult for us and uh, eventually they've, they, they've got a goal which was a slight goal, another poor goal from our point of view defensively, a throw in behind us and, you know, suddenly we've lost a goal. Um, but they dug in, we changed it and pushed on and got, you know, people up there. We went back to two up front, tried to put them under a wee bit of pressure, it did better. And eventually we got the goal I think we thoroughly deserved. So whether we would have won with 11 men, who knows. I think it's a fantastic achievement for the boys here in a local derby, for our own supporters. Our supporters were magnificent, as they were even that smaller group up at Inverness on Wednesday night. You know, to get these results for them is, is so important, you know, and it's, it keeps them with us. So it's something that, they, you know, young Alan. Campbell coming in and playing in a game when we're down to 10 men and doing such a fantastic job. It's another debutant, another one from the, the academy through Scott Leach and, 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 and then through Crags and, uh, you know, it, it shows you there's, a, there's just a, 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 a flow of these young players coming into the team. Bringing the year to an end on, on a high with these two results is one thing, but, you know, to last gasp like that must bring, you know, everyone's sort of emotions out and, and bring the year to a good end. Yeah, well, it brings your emotions, of course. I got a bit carried away, actually. I don't know who I was really having a go at myself, maybe, or the world, you know, but, um, you know, uh, you don't know what to say. As a centre forward, getting that chance that uh, uh, Malty got, you know, I said to him afterwards, you know, what a feeling that is. That is just the best feeling in the world as a centre forward to be presented with a chance like that in the last minute of a game to get your team a point. And the second best feeling in the world is as the manager, senior centre forward, get it. So, you know, it was a, a good outcome and a decent end to the year. What did you make of Hamilton? They were obviously a few seconds away from winning the game, but do you think that was some, you know, dirty challenges out there today from their side of things as well? Or was it just one of these games that you just see through? Oh, it was one of these games. You know, you got to remember, you know, the lad McKinnon was on the bench. He's an important player for them, you know, and when you see he's not in the team sheet a good thing for us, you know, so like us, they had a couple of people missing that normally, you know, Doogie Emery, you know, it's a big influence from the team you know, and they were missing, so, you know, we're going to forget that, or we had Lars missing and, and Hammy missing and Cabs missing, you know, so, you know, both teams were depleted and both teams, you know, put up a good fight and I think, in the end, I think it was a fair result. Of course, that brings us to the break now, are you almost... In a way, disappointed to see that the break's coming when hitting good fit, or is it a good thing? No, I think uh, it's a good thing. You know, we can get Laz fit, we can get Hammy fit, we can get Cads fit. You know, you know, uh, Cal McHugh can now have a bit of a rest. You know, he's put in two magnificent performances over these in the Inverness game and, t and, and today. You know, he can now recover a little bit, draw breath and look forward to a really positive second half of the season. Um, so I think we use the break uh, constructively, positively. We'll give the boys some time off next week have them in, you know, give them a bit of a really hard week the following week, physically, athletically, um, just in case they're not listening. Uh, they can prepare themselves for that. And then, of course, we'll get the build-up to the fantastic game at Ibrox, you know, which uh, is a place we all love to go and play at. And, of course, that means that everyone can enjoy their New Year's celebrations tonight, doesn't it? It just gives it a good feel. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if I go up the road and we've lost 1-0 in the game, which we feel we should have got something out of, you know, it, 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 it spoils your New Year's Eve. So I think we can all... Um, go home and have a, a, a quiet glass of wine and a, a mince pie or whatever it is you eat, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, and look forward to a very positive 2017. And, you know, obviously from my point of view, I just, for the supporters watching, having a year, and thanks for your support, and we'll see you next year. Yeah, and you too, Mark. See you then.